color preset updates in Adobe Rush, so stick around. What's going on everybody, Claudio here and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you updates to color preset options in Adobe Rush. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. I went ahead and imported eight video clips from a video shoot a while back here uh, in my office. Now what I'm going to do is mute the audio track so we don't get bleed over audio when I play uh, these clips. Now. In previous videos that I've created, I've shared with you how you can create your own color presets. I'll have that up here as well as in the description below. Now for this video, I want to share with you some highlights, some new updates, as I mentioned earlier. So I'm going to click here on the color preset or the color button in Rush. And as you can see right here, there are about 24 new presets now available in Rush. And if you just kind of go through here, Depending on how you shot your video, you can go through here and choose the different ones. Before, I want to say maybe there was maybe 10 presets, but now we've got 24 to choose from. So if you have any trouble colorizing or color correcting your video, you can go ahead and choose from the different ones here. Just again, depends on what you want to do. Now, I usually like going with the none. Can I, I like editing my own videos and choosing my own color. So what I'll do here is go to edit and this is pretty much standard procedures that I go through when I'm doing color correcting in Rush, is I'll start with this one video clip here and make some adjustments here. I think I'm gonna go with a little bit of a less contrasty, contrasty approach here. And let's bring up the highlights, bring the shadows down a bit. Let's see, go up with the highlights a bit. Kind of a moody look is what I want. And maybe add a little bit of a faded film look to it. Not too much, just a little bit here. Let's maybe not go too high on the highlights and maybe bring the contrast. There we go. Uh, it's kind of getting to where I want it to be. The style of this video here. And what I usually do is I'll bring down a little bit of the saturation. Uh, let's maybe go back up with the contrast. Maybe bring the shadows down a little bit more. All right, cool. So I'm, this is kind of what I'm going for in this video. Now, if I click this other video clip, you're going to see that it's basically starting from scratch. Now, what I usually would do is go through here and create a color preset and then just apply them to all, you know, but it's, it's going through and clicking one. Now, what would be nice is actually if you can click or actually drag multiple video clips and then just click on the preset. And for a long while, that was kind of, you couldn't do that and still can't. But this new update that I'm gonna share with you actually allows you to take one video clip, make your edits to your color, kind of close to where you want it to be. And then this is kind of the magic sauce right here. Up here at the top, there is apply to all. And when I click that, it's basically going to copy paste this color profile or this color correction that I've done to all the video clips. Now I haven't saved this preset. So if I close out and come back in, um, I can actually come back and save this preset if I want to right here, but I'm not going to do that at this moment. Now what I do is go through and look at all the video clips and check how this preset was applied to all. So here I see that it looks pretty good. I'll kind of just maybe play a little bit of it just to see. Let's see what this one looks like. Some of them look a little bit more faded than others just because of the color and maybe how close I was to the camera. But for the most part, it's doing what I want it to be. It's got that faded look, almost like cinematic. And so let's see here, maybe scrub through here. And then let's see what this one looks like here. After having applied the preset to all, I'll go through and look at different clips like this one here. That black background makes that microphone kind of get lost in there. So what I could do is come back in and just adjust a little bit of, let's say the shadows here, just so I can see more of that microphone. Like maybe if I go too far, it kind of gets lost in that background. So 
maybe just adjust it a tad bit. So I can go through each one, but basically the preset has been applied and I kind of just go through and look at each clip just to make sure I'm happy with how it was applied and maybe just make a few tweaks. All right, that was how to apply the preset to all clips in Rush on the computer. Now I have my Android and iPhone here so you can see both compared next to each other. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to tap on color. I'm gonna try to do this both at the same time. And there is a project you can see on the bottom on the Android, it shows you already the um, negative 30 on contrast. Now on the iPhone, I actually have to click in to see. And what I'll do here is just make an adjustment. Now, the adjustment is going to happen on all of them at the same time because it's all synced up. So here we go. We're going to basically slide that contrast. We're gonna go, let's go all the way 100% on both. Looks a little bit different on each device because of you know the operating system and let's go ahead and let's change the highlights to the same thing we're going to just bump that all the way to 100 on both just so you can see that it's happening and now what i'll do here is slide all the way to the right as you can see there is the apply to all so if you click on that now it has applied that preset that edit that I just made to all the clips. So that's how it's done on the Android and on the iPhone. And those are your color preset updates in Adobe Rush. The next time you go in and create your own videos, check it out, try it out, apply it to all of your clips. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and then click on the bell to be notified for future videos. Thank you again for stopping by and watching this video. Please do share it with others. And as always, be good to win another. Peace. I'm out.